Hi guys, welcome to Brilliant Fearless Channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to read the switch using Micro C Pro for PIC compiler and projects. So, the type of MC we are going to be using this uh, project is a PIC 16 So, uh, the first thing is uh, select your component. So, you can just press P from your keyboard. Select the component you want to use, then uh, this is a microcontroller. So after that, uh, you're going to select the crystal oscillator pin 13 and pin 14 is the oscillator pin of the microcontroller. Then connect it and then connect the ceramic capacitor 22 pico power to it just to pull it to ground. So the next thing is uh, connecting your switch. So there are two methods of connecting the switch to the microcontroller. We have the pull up register and the pull down register. So in this case, I'm using the pull up register. You can just use a 10k register or, 10 or 1k register. So uh, at the port B, our switch. So then um, the next thing is we can uh, connect our LED because it's the smallest uh, output device that we can use to uh, generate an output for to know maybe our project is working or not so we just connect the um led to the output to the port d0 then um, we connect the limiting resistor 330 ohms resistor just to limit the current that is flowing to the led because led requires just uh, maybe drops like 2.2.1 or 2 volts so we have to limit at the current that is flowing through the LED. The next thing is that uh, we're going to jump into our code. I'm using Micro C Pro for Peak Compile. So the first thing is uh, we configured our analog channel to uh, digital channel. The next thing is uh, the clearing direction of our ports. So in this case, because our push button switch is connected to Port B. So we're gonna set our port B as an input, especially port B RB7. We're gonna set it as input because we are reading uh we are reading yeah, the switch from there. So and the output is the port D. So we're gonna set our port D to output. So this is trans B and this is trans D. So yeah, just write it in comments like uh, for D as input. and then put D as a So the next thing is to jump into our Y1 loop. In this loop, uh, our line of code is going to execute continuously until we terminate the program. So it's going to run forever. Loop. So, and here um, they're using if statement to read the switch. So we say that if port B, the tape 7, which is this port, when it is because at this it now, because uh, a current current here uh, used to flow from high resistant part to the least resistant part, and because this plate is a uh, break, so the current is not going to flow there. So, I will be the microcontroller will be seeing the pain as a uh, high. So, by the time we push the port in down, you're gonna see it as low because current will flow from the high resistance part through the 10k resistor to the low uh, to the lowest resistance part. So but now as you can see so we now say if port B dot F7 equals to zero, that is when it is from when the pin has turned to zero, then we delay it just to uh, this is called a key debouncing. The key delay. 
because it's kind of a warning that is to generate in key but you can notice it so you have to delay it so that microcontroller will know what state is it a switch and what state is a switch so that it can read the correct output for us so that is why we are delaying it. then after delay if port b dot is still zero then it should perform this output then means port d dot f which is our output should be one then I close the if statement else at least if the button is not pressed our body dot f should be off so So let's um, build our project right to do successfully. You know, build our project. Don't forget to save this to its mega as crystal overlay because we're using its mega as crystal overlay. Then we go to our desktop. Then to build tools. As you can see that the output is by default zero because f that is else is standing for when this thing is high. When this input is high, so it should be off. And that is the reason why it is off now. So by the time I push this thing, you can see our line why it is on and so like that is the stop. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. So don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.